Hey everybody, I am Michelle Dugan. I am the broker owner of MS Lending and today we are here on Broker Playbook and we're going to learn a little bit more about Monday.com. So if you are not familiar, Monday.com is a website, it's a platform where you can keep up with all of your like file flow, file management, um, it's where we keep up with all of our leads, where we are on during the processes, we have all kinds of automation that's been included. But before I get into Monday.com, I want to tell you a little bit about how we came to use Monday. So we are a small brokerage um, in the past. It has always just been me handling my own volume. I had a processor and then all of my LOs were kind of doing their own thing with the processor as well. And as my business has begun to grow, then I realized that I needed more tools to help me just to keep up with everything. In the beginning, I could just kind of keep up. I knew where everything was. Um, I had a little Excel spreadsheet, which you know I thought was, it, I had tried a lot of different things, but the Excel spreadsheet was what I kept going back to because I could customize it more than most anything else. But as I'm sure you are aware, um, there's not a whole lot of automation that can be done with Excel. And it's really was only good for keeping up with files while they were in process. So, we came to Monday, or we found Monday.com, and at first I was a little overwhelmed with it, and I was like, I don't really know if this is going to do what I want it to do, because I had I had all kinds of leads coming from all sorts of areas that I needed to be able to keep up with. We use lead pops, um, so I was getting emails from lead pops. I was getting um, people that were just calling me out of the blue because they found my website. I was getting leads from Facebook. I would get text messages, and I really desperately needed all of my leads to funnel into one place. So what I found with Monday is basically we have our lead pops that is now integrated into Monday. So when it comes in, when we have a lead that comes in from lead pops, it goes straight into our leads flow um, in Monday. And I can put in there, I can assign a temperature to a lead. I can tell it if it's a warm lead, if it's a hot lead, or if it's a lead that's gone cold. Um, so you can really do a lot with your leads. But then if I have somebody that texts me on my phone, I can just hop right into Monday too. And I can put my lead in, in there. And it's a place where I can just drop their email. I can drop their phone number, whatever it is, so that I don't lose contact with that person. If it's somebody that messages me on Facebook, it's the same way. I can go and drop it right into there so that all of my leads are in one place and that they're all manageable. I know when the last time was that they were contacted. I know if they're continuing to contact us. Um, it's been it's it's been really great to have all the leads in one place for starters. And then what we have done as well, so we everything starts as a lead. Once it becomes an application, whether it's a refinance or a purchase, then it goes into our active like loans and process pipeline. So it has we have a whole different category for those. Within that, there is so much great information. So I can look right there and I can see what our contract you know date is, when closing is. Um, I can tell if the appraisal has been ordered, if title, you know, if everything is locked where we are exactly in the process. We have assigned all, like we have, I don't know, I think 10, maybe 12 different categories that a file can be at, depending on where it is in the process. Um, you know, when it when it becomes an application, when disclosures are out, when disclosures are back, when it's in processing, when it's an underwriting, when it's approved, when it's cleared to close, when it's funded. Um, we have all these different processes or parts of the process where we can label each file. Um, one of the greatest things too that I love about Monday um, is the automation part of it. So before when I had all these leads coming from all these places, I was just trying to juggle them. I had a notebook I would write stuff in. I had my Excel spreadsheet, but it was there were, there were too many things that I was having to touch. Um, then we were using Flowify. So applications would come in through Flowify. Well, then we also had pipe drive and I was, you know, had information in there. We are still using Calix Point and I had a bunch of information in there and I just had all these different places. Well, Monday has essentially replaced a lot of that um, as far as I don't have everything written in a notebook anymore. I don't have to use Excel anymore. I don't have pipe drive anymore. Monday has pulled all of that together for me. So since we've gotten rid of pipe drive and um, and then like the Excel spreadsheet, Essentially, the way that a file will like flow through our company is, as I mentioned before, so it'll come in through the leads we have or into our leads pipeline. And then we have some automation set up where they're getting emails from me. They're getting um, 
they're getting handwritten cards and all of it's automated. So I don't have to do a single thing. And by the time that I actually talk to a customer for the first time, they have, they've received several emails from me that they don't know didn't come right away. Just for me, they've received a handwritten card in the mail or they're about to that says, you know, thank you for applying with our company. Um, and so all of these things take, it takes, you know, a little bit of time to set it up on the front end. And I didn't think that it was taking up too much of my time, you know, before. But what I've realized now is that every single time I have to stop and type an email that takes me five minutes, if I do that 20 minutes, you know, 20 times a day, that's an hour a day that I've gotten back from, hold on, let's, let's redo that math. Sorry, that's an, a little over an hour and a half of my day that I've gotten back from all of these little five minute increments. And then the handwritten cards, I simply just don't have time to handwrite all these cards every single time that I get an application in. Um, so it's taken that out of the process for me. Um, basically, it will when the file becomes a live actual like loan that's either in process for refinancing or purchasing, um, I can go in, I can assign tasks to my team. So you know, when it is when the appraisal needs to be ordered, when the title work insurance, all that stuff needs to be ordered, I can assign that out to my team members. They'll have it in their workflow and they know that that's where they need to step in on the file and start doing those same things for the customer. It has been it's really made the whole process a lot more seamless for them because before, you know, I was having to reach out, update all the parties. Now, Monday is doing that for me. So whenever an, a, whenever a file moves from, you know, an application to now we're disclosed, we're in processing, we're in underwriting, whenever like the appraisal is ordered, they get an email that says, hey, your appraisal has been ordered. Um, you know, it, your, they should be contact, you know, contacting you within X amount of hours. If you don't hear from anyone, please let me know. And then it also tells them at the bottom, you know, there's nothing for you to do at this time. I just want to let you know where you are on your file. Um, and so it just gives them a little bit more peace of mind on their end, but I'm not the one who's physically having to reach out to text or call my borrower every single time something happens like this. Then whenever their file is approved, it lets them know. Um, I have the listing agent and the buyer's agent. I have both of them plugged in to each of um, my files as well on Monday so that when they need to be notified about what's happening on a file, they're also getting that notification. So like on an appraisal, when we are approved, when we are cleared to close, they're getting all of this stuff. Um, I'll be honest, we haven't been using the system very long. So we are still continuously going through and it's such an easy platform to use that I can go to my assistant and say, hey, it would be really cool if at this point an email went to this party to let them know this. And she can go in, she can set it all up. And then literally within a matter of minutes, we have a brand new automation that's in place. Um, one of the really cool things that I like about the program is that it integrates with so many different things. So I have, we use Outlook um, for our email service. And so I have it integrated with my Outlook. So anytime that an email comes in that's attached to one of those files, it will automatically put and drop those emails into that particular like loan flow so that if let's say Brianna that I'm doing a loan for emails me, not only is it going to be in my email inbox, but it's also going to attach to Monday so that I can see what the most recent communication is that I've had with Brianna. And then if I, I'm like, oh man, I know that Brianna said that there was something about what day next week she could close or whatever the case is, I don't have to search through my email at that point. It's going to be right there for me in Monday. I'll admit I was a little hesitant to kind of give that up at first. Um, but once I saw how cool it was to have everything just all in one place, I'm like letting go more and more. And I'll be honest, as a broker owner, that has been something that's been really terrifying for me is to let go of my files and let go of some of the control and let these automations take over. But what I have really loved is the time that it has freed up for me. So not only so once files go through their process, they don't stop just when the loan is closed. So now a closed loan goes into a whole nother pipeline and it's the closed loan pipeline. Um, that's the one that we are really focusing on building out now. So as Monday is essentially going to become our new CRM also. So once a file is closed, um, I am going to have automation going out after 30 days, you know, at like basically quarterly, it's going to be going out. 
Um, we are working on getting it integrated with HomeBot so that the file can talk to HomeBot and automatically push the information over there that HomeBot needs. Um, the, the amount of integrations that you can do with Monday to automate things truly are unlimited. Um, it works with Slack. It works with a lot of programs that we're already using. Um, I am super excited about one day getting it integrated in with my LOS system so that as things progress, you know, progress their file, we don't have to manually go in and update dates on things. It'll just automatically do it for us because the more time that we can save with automation, the more time we can spend on sales, which is truly my love in this business. One really cool thing about Monday too is that not only can you have your um, email integrated with it, but you can do file storage within these files as well. So right now we are currently using OneDrive and we're keeping all of our data there so that everybody on the team can all see the same information. But my goal is to eventually have it all flowing into Monday so that all of the information on a file, you can go right into Monday, you can see everything, all of their documents and everything are gonna be attached right there within Monday. Um, their driver's license, I don't have to, go and track it down over here, or track it down over there. You know, if I needed it for some random reason after the fact, I can just go right there to their file and it's all in one place instead of having some on this computer, some on my processor's computer. Is it in the lender's website? Is it in our file? Um, it's really just simplifying life altogether. Um, the integrations that it has as far as apps, um, it does integrate with Savior, Zapier, whatever, however you say it, uh, it integrates with that. And so that has made the automation process super simple. As long as something talks with Sapier, like bam, it'll, it'll talk to each other and you can, you can really like the sky's the limit as far as the integrations go. A couple of things that they have. So when you go in to look at a file, you can look at it several different ways. One way I like to be able to look at it, you can scroll across and you can see where all of the appraisals are. You can see like right away, you can say like, oh, this one was due this day. This one's due this day. Um, if you like you can set up an email so that it will email you. If an appraisal is due on the 4th, you can set it up to have an email go out to you 48 hours prior to that so that you know to be looking for that appraisal in 48 hours. If an appraisal is late, it can send you an email to say, hey, like warning, this appraisal was due today and it's not in yet. Um, so it really, it's like having a whole little army of people over here that are keeping up with all these different steps on your file so that you can take your eyes off of that for just a minute to focus on sales still as well. Um, I have not integrated Monday fully like with my processing team yet. Um, that is something that is coming, but I am using it a lot between me and my LOA. And then we'll also start to integrate processing. I do know a few loan officers that are using it um, with their processing teams. From a management and a broker owner standpoint um, or viewpoint, I guess, of the program, it's really great because they have areas where you can track the time on stuff. So if you don't ever want your file to sit in processing for more than 48 hours, you can put a timer on that. So as soon as it's flipped to processing, you know exactly how long that clock has been running. If it goes over the 48 hour mark, then you're going to know. And so you can tell where things are starting to bottleneck. Is it processing where it's bottlenecking? Is it underwriting? Is it from, you know, when we get the clear to close to actually getting docs to the attorney? Like where are our points of weakness throughout the process? What can we sharpen up on? What are, where are we having struggles with third parties? You can track and, and follow all of that file flow through Monday. Um, and it's all in one place. So uh, another thing I really like though, um, beyond just being able to look and see exactly where everything and every file is all at one glance, I can also go in and I can pull up a calendar view. So in my mind, like I've always used calendars a lot in this business, obviously. And so I like to be able to look at a calendar and just have a glance of like, okay, how many loans do we have on the calendar for next week? You know, when I can look at an actual calendar, I can see all the different loans. I can see who needs CDs to go out when. I can see when rate locks are expiring. And it's all in one calendar and one quick, easy view. And that to me, that's honestly, I love that. That's one of my favorite little gadgets to be able to just click a little button. And there it is. I can see right exactly where everything is. Um, as I mentioned earlier, one of the coolest things that I like about Monday is the integration that you have with all these different programs. So 
before, so I'm using Lead Pops, and before Lead Pops um, would send out an email whenever someone put in an inquiry on my website, and it just said like, hey, how, you know, let us know when a good time to call you is. Well, people think that you're sending them this email at 9 p.m. at night, and then they reply back to you, and they're like, oh, now is a good time. Well, I'm not actually sending that email at 9 o'clock at night, so now I have another email that's going out right behind it that says like, hey, we got and we're really looking forward to talking with you. Um, you know, what's a good time for us there to chat for a few minutes about your file? In that email, it has a link to my Calendly calendar, and they can go right into Calendly. They can book a time that works for their schedule, but it's also integrated with my own personal calendars to make sure that I'm actually going to be available for that time frame too. Um, and this is all happening, and I'm not having to do a single thing. Um, it's all thing in the background. Then I'll just get a notification that a Calendly appointment has been made. I can jump on the phone with them the next day. We can chat for five or 10 minutes about their situation. And then if they're ready to proceed and they want to actually submit the full application, all I have to do is shoot them the link for that. And then boom, as soon as they've done that, they're going to go into Flowify, submit their application. It's all going to come over to me. Um, they're going to start uploading their information right into Flowify as far as pay stubs, W-2s, everything. And I, all I'm going to have to do is get the information, you know, put it into my um, LOS, pull credit, take a look at their file, spend just a few minutes on it where several years ago I was going to sit on the phone with them. I was going to actually take their application. Then I was going to send them another email, tell them what documents we need. Then I was going to get that. You know, it was so things that used to take several hours now literally only take a few minutes of my time because of all the different integrations that not only that Monday allows us to have, but just with the ease of, um, I guess, all of the technology that we have available to us in the broker world. Now, when I first went to Monday, I will be honest, I looked at it and I was like, oh, I was like, you know, pipe drive kind of does this and I've got this over here and I think I'll just stick with my spreadsheet. And it took a little bit of prodding by my LOA, I will say, but she went in and she was um, she was a pivotal part of having Monday um, brought into the office and she really went in, she got it built out for us. And once I started using it, I fell in love with it. Um, I wish that I had not hesitated to start using it um, as much as I did because I didn't realize how much I was going to truly love the platform until I got in and started using it. Um, my business has, we have never been busier. Um, it's also never felt as organized as it is now. So like I said, I can look and I can see exactly where we are. Um, I can tell when loans flip to an application status, when, docu I know when documents need to be done. I know if, you know, if, if it's like, hey, we're on our last day, docs have to go today. I know it because it's right there in front of me. So things aren't going to fall through the crack nearly as easily as they used to be able to when I was just trying to juggle it on an Excel spreadsheet. And what if that spreadsheet didn't get updated? You know, there were so many different little things that could fall through the cracks that Monday is picking up the slack on all that. Um, as far as like communication and stuff, um, it's there's so many different ways that you can communicate through Monday. Um, one, you you have the ability to message people on your team. You have the ability to assign tasks to other people on your team. Um, and then if you are the pipeline manager, so like for me, I can go in and I can see what everybody else's days look like. I can see what tasks have been assigned to them. I can see what they have done or not done. Um, I know um, Christine Beckwith has talked about how they use Monday to essentially run her entire company, which I really want to pick her brain about it now that we're digging in because um, it's it's so big and large that you can really personalize it so much. Um, and I think in the beginning, that was what kind of overwhelmed me was like, oh my God, I don't know where to start, where, you know, what do I do? And then truly once I got into it and spent a few hours, I realized how easy it is and how customizable it is to be able to customize it just the way I want for my business. I've talked to several other loan officers and they're using it and they are also using it for their business and they love it. But the way that they're doing things is a little bit different and that's okay. You know, when I peeked in the back door on theirs to see if I could get any ideas from the way that they were doing things with their file flows. And what I realized was that even though we all have the same information in our pipelines, essentially, the 
we like to look at stuff is different. So somebody might like the calendar flow of stuff. Somebody might like, um, you know, being able to look at the big, the big picture and see where everything is on every file. And you can do that because it's customizable and you can look at it the way you want. You can look at it both ways. Um, so that's super, super cool. Um, I'll say communication wise though, like the communication with the customer especially is just priceless because you don't have to do anything. You write one email, it goes in, it plugs in their name, it plugs in their property address, it's going to plug in their closing dates. Every email that you set up, um, you get to choose which piece of data from that file you want embedded. So, you know, when it says like, Dear Brianna, um, it's going to actually plug in her name. So they know that it's just to them, that it's not just some generic email that's it doesn't appear to be a generic email that's going out to all of my borrowers because it's customized to them directly. Um, there, I, honestly, I foresee a day that we will probably get to a point where my actual personal interaction with the customers is going to probably be limited to just a few, maybe 10, 15 minute conversations here and there throughout a file instead of constant daily, you know, texting and emailing, because the biggest things that I feel like we are contacted about are like, where are we in the process? What comes next? Um, you know, what do I need to do right now? And these emails that we're sending out are taking care of all of that for us. So when somebody gets an appraisal email, it lets them know like, hey, this has been done. This is what we need you to do right now, which for an appraisal is essentially nothing. If you run into a problem after X amount of time, reach out to us. If you haven't heard from an appraiser in X amount of time, reach out to us. Um, and then I can tell them exactly what the next steps are as well. You know, once your appraisal is in, it's going to go to underwriting, you know, all these little things. And so it takes a lot of work away from the customer from their standpoint um, because they know what's coming next. They know what to expect next. And it gives them a really great overview, I think, of the loan process to where they don't feel like they have slipped, but you know, slipped in the crack, like slipped in the crack somewhere and that we have forgotten about them or their file. And it's not taking any time away from me. It's actually giving me more time. So that is awesome. <laughs> um, a few other things about Monday. So if you are really techie and you've got a lot of you know different programs that you've integrated into your business um that's where i found that monday is really great so like for us we use handwritten service to send out handwritten cards um, because i just simply don't have enough time to handwrite cards all day long um, so with handwritten we have an account it sends them the information they're getting a card right after they apply um, we're sending out cards after closing, a little bit different one that just says, thank you for using our company. And then it's asking for future referrals. Um, in the future, we're also going to start doing mail outs that have, you know, different holidays and for homestead exemption reminders, um, different tax reminders, home anniversaries. There's just so many little things that we are going to be able to integrate into it. And I'm not going to have to do anything. The program and the system is just going to do it all on its own. Um, I would say setting up Monday in the beginning, it's definitely the most daunting part of having Monday in general. Um, it, it does take some time. You are going to want to talk with somebody or some, you know, somebody that's either set it up before or, you know, hire someone to help you set it up. That's probably going to be the easiest thing for most of you because that's like time is our I mean, it's the biggest commodity that we have as loan officers and it's and it's just fleeting. It's con we're constantly losing it. We can't make more of it. So um, instead of getting in there and spending six to eight hours, if you can hire somebody and pay them a little bit and then they can set it up for you, you know, give you an overview on how to adapt things, um, then I would highly recommend that because it's you're going to want it <laughs> um, starting from scratch. Like I said, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but once you get started, it is just, it's so easy to set up these automations and all these different integrations that they have. It can integrate with Outlook, with Gmail, um, with pretty much anything that Slack can talk to, you can get them talking to each other. So ours talks to Flowify, um, ours talks with, you know, lead pops. And in the future, as we move to different loan offer, you know, loan uh, LOS system, sorry, um, then you know, I think that those will also be able to talk and integrate with each other, which is only going to make things even easier and simpler for us. 
Um, so we are big, big fans of Monday.com here at MS Lending. Um, we are new. We are still, you know, kind of learning some of the bells and whistles. I feel like every day I learn a little bit something new about it. Um, but it is definitely a program that was not necessarily built for just for loan officers in the mortgage industry, but I can see it being a huge player in our field over the next few years. Um, there's, you know, like I said, it's gotten rid of pipe drive for us. Um, it, I'm not going to have to have a separate CRM. Um, it's going to be able to keep all of that um, in one place for me as well. So literally all the way from the very first um, you know, contact with the borrower from the very first lead we get from them all the way through post-closing. It's all in one spot, which is just, it's simply amazing to me. Um, we can keep up with, you know, their interest rate, their loan amount when they closed. You know, it, it's, it's just really, really, really cool. <laughs> as far as setting Monday up, you know, when you do get into it, so they do give you a, I think they give you like a seven or 14 day trial in the beginning. So you can get in and you can start setting things up and see how you like it. They offer a ton of classes on, you know, how to get in and set things up as well. So they give you a lot of tools and resources to get up and running. But I would plan on giving yourself a good you know, week or two of using the program before you're starting to get kind of comfortable with it. And, um, you know, you, I would think that if you have been running several programs, like if you've been using pipe drive or if you've been using um, something like Django, like Monday, in my opinion, it could completely replace Django. Um, I did never really dive into Django. I know, I know it's a great program, but we didn't ever dive into it because it was just so complex and getting everything set up. Um, Monday has definitely been a lot easier than getting Django set up, in my opinion. Um, but it does take some work. So, you know, if you have a team member that you can, you know, allocate to just setting up Monday and how you want that to, you know, kind of look for your team, I would highly recommend that other than just dabbling for, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes here at a time, because it's going to take a long time to get it together that way. And I promise the sooner that you get it going, you, you're going to, you're going to love it. <laughs> um, the, the setup though, it is crucial. Um, what I did um, for me and for my LOA and I, we went in and I kind of told her what I wanted it to look like. So when I go into a file, I want to be able to see this, this, and this right away. I want to know if the loan's locked, when the lock is expiring, what our closing date is. Um, and, you know, I just gave her all the different like place or, you know, mile markers and milestones throughout a process or throughout the loan process that I wanted to be able to track. I let her know which ones I needed to have, you know, a date with. So like for my appraisal, I want to know when my appraisal is due for title work insurance here in Mississippi, title work is slow. So it takes us about a week to get title work. So I don't, I don't want to be, you know, checking up on title work a day or two later, because I know that they're probably not going to have it done by then. Insurance after 48 hours, I do expect to have that in my inbox. After a week on title, I do expect to have that. If my appraisal is due, if it's a VA loan and it's due in 10 business days, I expect to have it in 10 business days. So you can track the points that you want to keep um, a date with so simply, but you can really lay it out the way you want it. So the way that, you know, Joe over here wants to look at his files, it's not going to be the same as the way that I want to look at it and the information that I want to see. For me, I'm very hands on in my files. Um, I, for the most part, I pretty much know where everybody is throughout the process at any given time. It's even easier now, though, because I don't have to worry about tracking down my processor and saying like, hey, like, let's look at your sheet together and let's see where things are. Like, I know right where they are all the time. So if a realtor calls me and they're like, hey, when's the appraisal due on this? Within a matter of seconds, I can let them know like, hey, it was ordered on this day. It's due on this day. Now, technically, they should have their email and be able to look at that. But let's be honest, like sometimes we just want to take the shortcut and get the information really fast. Um, but it's really cool. Like I can't say enough about enough good things about it um, and explain it to you. I wish that I could just show you what my Monday pipeline looks like. But um, unfortunately, I would be giving away a lot of sensitive data. Um, but I could, you know, I can set up kind of some dummy files and, um, you know, I'll talk to Brie. We could probably do I could probably do a quick little video just to show you what the file flow looks like. 
um, on a dummy file or two. And then that way you can see that as well. But I highly recommend to at least go in and do one of the little webinars that they offer for free. Take a look at it, see how it would work with your business. Um, there are so many tools and gadgets that are available to us that to me, um, to be able to simplify them and put them all into one place was really important for me because I'm logging in here, I'm logging in here, I'm updating this, I'm updating that. And like I said, I felt like I just had information everywhere. And finally, for the first time in my career, I feel like it's all in one pretty little place and that I didn't have to spend billions of dollars building out my own great system to do it. I found Monday, we fell in love and my business is falling in love with it too. So I hope that this is helpful. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm available at any time. I can also connect you with my LOA if you would like. Um, if it's, you know, if you are needing some resources on getting things set up, um, she has become quite the whiz. Uh, I I would like to take credit for, you know, having Monday, but honestly, like she has been a godsend for all of this. Um, so we could probably let her, um, you know, answer any of those questions for you. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So we love Monday here at MS Lending, and I'll be happy to answer any other questions that you have about it. Um, if you are a newer broker or someone who is just getting started in the business, Honestly, like it will be some of the best money that you spend every month because I'd say the earlier that you are in the broker like ownerage or just the, you know, into being a broker, the sooner that you can get started with it, the easier it will be because as your pipeline grows and grows and grows and business grows and grows, it's harder to get these things integrated and to go backwards with it. But if you start now before your pipeline is just super overwhelming, then you can get it built out the way that you want it. You can continue to tweak it. And then it's only going to help you and your production grow even faster. So again, I'm Michelle Dugan with MS Lending. Any questions that you have about Monday, I will gladly answer whatever I know. And if I don't know, then I will pass you to my LOA or um, we can you know, try to help you find those answers too. And as I continue to learn more and more about it, um, hopefully I'll be able to come back and talk to you about those things as well. But don't sleep on Monday. It's pretty awesome. Bye, guys.